Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anna and I hope that you're having an amazing day. Today, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys, just have a real chat. I don't have any makeup on, I, my hair is just down, I'm in comfy clothes. I just wanted to have a real chat with you guys about something that's been on my mind recently. And that is the pressure to get to the next greatest thing. To have everything settled and complete and perfect in your life. Um, and before I get into that, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, all my social media is always linked in the down bar. And if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe down below. Just click that little red button. It means I pop into your feed. I post videos once a week, typically on a Monday. And if I have the time, I will post them on Wednesday or Friday. But um, yeah, so thank you guys so much. And let's get back to it. So, like I said, I've been thinking about this idea of what's coming next, and that's just how I am in general. Maybe you're like that too, where you kind of are very future focused. Um, but I found that the more future focused I become, the less in the present, which is kind of you know, self explanatory, the less in the present I am, and I stop appreciating all the wonderful things that are going on right here, right now. Um, and that's not to say that I don't think we should have goals because I am so goal oriented but um, I got to thinking after reading this quote on Facebook which basically said um, the best way to ruin your 20s is to think that you have to have it all together and for some of you out there you may be in your early 20s or head to your early 20s or maybe in your 30s and you feel like everything should be settled in and you should already be on this track towards success and financial freedom and things of that nature and I'm just here to tell you as a 21 year old woman that that's just so far from the truth and it's hard to recognize that when we live in this society that's so heavily based on social media and YouTube and just these romanticized ideas of what life is. Now, for the YouTubers that you probably watch that are way bigger, it makes sense that they have the things that they have because of the opportunities that have, you know, kind of landed in their path. They've been doing YouTube maybe for four or five years already, so they're on that growth. They have that income to afford these things. But I don't think that it is realistic to expect yourself to be at that level or be there at 20, 21, 22, 23 especially if you're still in school or you're starting school there's just it's just it's kind of it's kind of unrealistic to have that expectation of yourself and that's not to say that I don't think you should have the goal to get there I definitely think that but I, th I think that we tend to be really hard on ourselves if we struggle a bit um, because we don't see that struggle we don't see that hustle on creators on social media people's you know accounts we don't see that we don't see them doing the things that we're doing to get there if that makes any sense um, and I think that we tend to think that it's easy and we tend to think that some people some people granted are handed that life and that's not to say that they don't you know that's not to say that they deserve it any less in a sense um, I think that if they're able to keep that fortune, that says something about them as well. But I do think that we tend to forget that there's a lot of hustle that goes on between, behind the scenes of success. There's a lot of habits, a lot of you know successful markers that people have to get there. And um, I know that I do it myself. I am, like I said, a senior in college, and so. The, I'll tell you a story. This summer I worked at home and typically I use that time to save up a whole bunch of money because I'm able to work more and I have less living expenses so I have the ability to save more. And last year I saved up for a spring break trip and I got to go to England which, England, which was amazing. But um, this year I was heavily focused on the idea of saving for a down deposit for an apartment. Now, some of you guys are just like, oh, wow, like, that's not a lot. Or some of you may be like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, sure, great, great idea. Um, and at first when I started doing this, I was like, God, like, this is this is exactly what I want. I need to just stay focused on that so I have the ability to do that. And, and I definitely still want to do that. But I also recognize that by being so strict and being so heavily focused on that, I'm forgetting that I have this last year and that I have this time to kind of be free without any responsibility. My mom even told me during the summer like Anna you have the rest of your life to pay bills like don't rush it and I think I think that's like the key here is that as 
people in this society, especially like my generation, maybe a little bit older, a little bit younger, those who are heavily into social media, it's really hard to not rush it and not rush the process to get to where we think we should be. And I think that when we get caught up in trying to get to where we think we should be, we forget to be grateful for where we are. And that's just such a crucial, crucial point in being happy and being content and feeling free. Um, and that, like I said, it's not to say that I don't believe in you know going after your goals. I definitely think that, but I think that there needs to be a looser hand in it. Um, and, and it's hard for me to admit considering how, if you guys don't know, I'm like actually really, 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 really goal oriented and really, really, really strict with how I approach my goals. Um, but the more I get into the law of attraction, and I have a video, I'll link it down below or I'll link it in the little information box at the top. Um, with the law of attraction, you know, you have to not push things and believe and trust that the universe will provide when it needs to and when you when you need it. Um, just keep it in the back of your mind and attract the things that you want to feel about like within that experience. So for me that's safety, for me that's happiness and contentment with Manny, for me that's um, financial you know stability. So I try my best to have those feelings excuse me in my life and through that I know that in time when you know I'm ready the universe is ready it will come and I mean setting up a deadline is cool especially if you need that extra push but also give yourself the grace to you know give yourself an extension maybe sometimes because you know what sometimes things just happen like for example my car is now broken so I had to pull out a loan big 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 things big girl things I had to pull out a personal loan to be able to afford a new car off Craigslist and I'm very fortunate and very grateful that I'm able to do that because I know there are plenty of people who cannot and have to rely on public transportation. Um, so I'm so utterly grateful to do that and to also be able to afford the payment each month and that gratitude in this now I know will help me settle into my future that I want. Um, but I, I, I have a goal and I hope that you guys will follow me along in this goal, in this journey, to just be more present in the now and stop trying to reach this um, like a, like apex, a top, whatever you guys want to call it, of like getting to like where, I don't know, let me think of something, like Aspen and her husband and people like that, like, like May Baby Tumblr or um, gosh, or Meredith just people like that like it's it's easy to you know say it's easy to look at them and think that that's normal because that's what you see that's what you keep you know getting yourself accustomed to but I'm here to say that it's not and that that it's okay for you to not be there and that it's okay for you to have to struggle a little bit and it's okay that you know that you're just living your life as best as you can and that one day you will get there but it's okay if you're not and it's okay if you know you're just you're just normal you know it's okay it's okay to not be okay sometimes and yeah so that's just something that's been on my mind and I hope that it made sense I hope I didn't ramble on nonsense but um it's just been something that's been on my mind and i wanted to share with you guys and leave a comment down below on on your opinion of this um i, I mean feel free to disagree or if you agree that's cool too um and yeah i hope you guys enjoy and uh yeah look for me soon i have a few ideas for a few different videos i'd really like to start getting into recipes um, I'm not by any means the world's greatest cook, but I definitely want to start experimenting more in the kitchen and trying different things out on a college bu budget for you guys. Um, and I kind of sort of want to try doing a lookbook, but I feel like it's kind of an awkward time because it's not exactly transitioned into fall, summer anymore, but it's not really fall yet. So, I don't know, let me, got, let me know down in the comments below. Um, what you guys would like to see. I know I still have to do my, uh, have to continue my series, um, but 
I haven't felt too inspired to do it recently, so um, I will I will get to that video, but I think when it feels right and ready for me to do it. Um, right now, I just feel like talking and connecting with you guys, and I hope that you guys don't mind. Um, but definitely leave your suggestions down below. Uh, on what you want to see next from me. I will try my best to do things that you guys want to see. This channel is fairly open. I started it with the idea of veganism and health and wellness and positivity and I think that everything can kind of fall in line with that. So don't feel afraid or you know uh, I don't know, think something is too far out there from what this channel is because it probably isn't. Um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.